Whether or not southern New England will see snow on Christmas or out, according to climate experts at Cornell University and not Tony Petraca, Providence has a 30% chance of having a white Christmas. Topping the list, Pinkham Notch, New Hampshire, with a 95% probability of an inch or more of the white stuff and the least likeliest to get snow. Atlantic City, New Jersey, with a 9% chance. Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 futurecast. Well, keep in mind, those numbers not based on current weather trends, but rather climatology, just adding up all the Christmases the last 100 years, and you come up with roughly about a 30% chance each Christmas of getting about an inch of snow on the ground. We are tracking showers on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar, and perhaps even a few wet snowflakes mixed in. You can see it just below the word Doppler up in uh, the north of the uh, Mass Pike, uh, western Massachusetts. And this is essentially just some sprinkles and maybe some flurries mixed in. But here's the situation. The air overhead, especially over our area, is very dry. So as this approaches, a lot of it will fizzle up or it'll just get reduced to just a passing sprinkle and nothing more. But eventually the humidity will come up and we will get some rain showers later on. Temperatures outside, mid and upper 30. Some spots are just below freezing. The area shaded in blue have temperatures near or just below the freezing mark. But here's a hint that uh, warmer air is on the way. Look at westerly at 42. As the south breeze takes over, all of these numbers will eventually transition to the upper 30s to near 40 by daybreak. Here in downtown Providence, mostly cloudy skies in 39 and a southeast breeze at 5. Humidity now at 70%. As we widen out the view, batches of precipitation through upstate New York, a lot of it moving into northern New England, and again initially drying up, but it's part of a larger weather system across the Great Lakes and the Ohio River Valley. Let me step out of the way. You can see some steadier rain showers off to our west. And even these will more or less weaken as they approach the area tomorrow. So I'm not looking at a washout or a deluge as far as rain on Thursday. In fact, there'll be many hours where it's not raining at all. The best chance probably later tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. So even though we have a bit of a chill right now, look how close the mile the air is. Temperatures in the 50s and that's headed our way tomorrow afternoon. We'll top out easily 55, 56 degrees. So for this evening and overnight, we'll just follow the clock right up in here. Some snow and ice in northern New England where there are some winter weather advisories. But for us, just scattered showers. 5 o'clock in the morning, perhaps a sprinkle. Here we are, 8 o'clock in the morning, mostly cloudy. If we catch a peak of sun, that's all it would be. A brief peak, the sun would come uh, uh, the clouds would take over once again. As far as any winter weather advisories, it's really from north of the Mass Pike into northern New England. Initially, the precipitation may start as freezing rain and some wet snow. But for the overnight hours, mainly cloudy. And even though it's chilly right now, look at the trend as we get towards daybreak tomorrow, a slow rise in the temperature above freezing. So tomorrow morning, mainly cloudy, only limited sun, if that, 39 to eventually 49. Initially during the morning, just some sprinkles, so not anticipating anything widespread. The wind starts to pick up tomorrow once the warmer air works in. Temperatures in the mid-50s. It can't rule out some occasional light rain showers from time to time. Boater, small craft advisory, borderline gale warning. Temperatures well into the 50s, mostly cloudy. And again, I'm thinking mid to late afternoon, the best chance for showers. And again, they should be light, nothing really heavy. Mid-50s across southeastern Massachusetts as well. Clearing out, nice day on Friday with a temperature at 52 degrees. And we are talking sharply colder weather over the weekend, but basically dry, perhaps a few flurries on Sunday. Nothing to get excited about, but uh, 39 degrees, a cold day on Sunday with another storm potential by the middle of next week on Wednesday with rain and a temperature at 45. So in a nutshell, light rain showers tomorrow afternoon, maybe a passing flurry on Sunday and pretty cold over the weekend. Okay, thanks, Tony.